Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the next 48 hours and how things are going to play out for you energy wise. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you would like a personal, also check out the description box. My website will be listed there. All right, Scorpios, how is the next 48 hours going to play out with them? Scorpios, how's the next 48 hours going to play out for them? Ooh. All right. So let's see what's going on. So overall energy, we have the chariot, which is good. Your current energy, we do have the two of wands. The challenge is the will of fortune. Advice from your spirit guides is the devil card. And then the outcome is the knight of swords in reverse. Okay, Scorpios for February 18th through the 20th. Okay, we have have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon, and energy surrounding my Scorpio's love life for February 18th through the 20th. So we have playfulness in reverse. I'm just going to take it. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and discuss what I see here. So the first card being the chariot. Why are all the cards falling on the floor? Okay, so with the first card being the chariot, this is the energy of possibly a cancer being um, um Possibly a cancer affecting your energy. Excuse me, I had a brain fart. <laughs> um, so for overall energy, you may have a cancer who may be affecting you, whether this is a boss, coworker, lover, whoever. Um, also with the chariot, this is the energy of you focusing on what's to come in the future. This is you really trying to turn your back on the past. This could be a connection that you were in and just deciding, you know what, I'm just going to move on. I'm going to move on. The situation is stressful. I think I just need to focus on my success. I need to focus on my career and getting somewhere. For some of you also, you're kind of focusing on possibly getting like a new vehicle or something like that during this time frame. But definitely this is you focusing on success and actually getting somewhere or successfully getting over someone. Um, this is you also trying to have more of a optimistic mindset in terms of your goals and the things that you've set in place for yourself, um, things that you want to do and you want to accomplish. And you may be realizing now it's time for you to charge ahead and move towards those goals. Now, when it comes to your current energy, I do have the two of wands. So this is you trying to decide, are you going to continue down a path pretty much on your own and do your own thing? Or are you going to give energy back into a relationship and see if you could fix things. Um, this is also making a decision on whether or not you're going to just have one job or if you're going to pick up another job. This is like big decisions you guys are having to make in terms of your path overall. And you may be having to make some hard decisions on what you're going to do moving forward. This is also trying to decide which way to go about um, getting back into some sort of creative thing that you may be doing or entrepreneurial thing that you may be doing or something you're passionate about. Um, but this is making, this, this is having to make some decisions here. Now, when it comes to what I see for the challenge, I do have the will of fortune. So this could be, Hmm, you feeling like possibly good fortune is not really on your side right now. Um, the will of fortune, this is like a positive turnaround in energy. So some of you guys could be feeling like there's a challenge for you to, for one, be able to see it that way, especially with like a lot of endings that may be taking place around you or a lot of just sudden changes. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune also, you could be feeling as if the challenge may be getting some sort of positive turnaround in some sort of relationship. This is you just feeling like favor is not working with you in some area in your life. And this could be, you know, troubling you in some sort of way. 
Now, when it comes to the advice, I do have the devil card. So this is addressing any sort of tox toxic relationships you may have with people, drugs, eating habits, um, mindset, actions that you take, um, just attachments that you have in general and look at how they're affecting your overall life experience. Um, if you're not happy with your life right now, look at what is holding you back. What exactly is it? And what can you do to not make that a reality anymore? Okay. It's just that simple. Look at what you're attached to, what's negative in your life that you give attention to and be real with yourself. Is this beneficial for me to entertain this drug habit? Is it beneficial for me to keep entertaining this toxic relationship? If not, then stop feeding your energy into it because you're just keeping yourself from progressing. For some of you also, if you have like a meddling a uh, friend, mother, I see a Capricorn energy. So if you have a Capricorn in your life in some sort of way, whether this is a mother, father, friend, whoever, you also need to look at that relationship too, whether or not that's healthy. But anywho, what I have for the outcome, I do have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So this is the energy of possibly somebody trying to rush back into your life, but then you either like stop them in their tracks and you just let them know, look, I'm not going back down that road. Or for some of you, this could happen too, where you try to reach out to somebody who you had a argument with and you may find out that you're blocked or this person may not be willing to talk. Um, with that Knight of Swords energy in reverse, this is also you guys wanting to take action on something, but there could be a delay in doing so. Um, yep. Hangman. There may be a delay in doing so because your mindset may be needing to change in terms of what you're doing. Like for some of you, you get really caught up in anxiety and anxiety starts kicking your behind and you need to be careful of that because that's what's keeping you from being successful. Now, what I have for your love life, we do have playfulness in reverse. So this may be you and somebody else just unable to recapture that romantic energy between you two. You may be feeling like things are just very uptight and serious between you and another individual. Um, also, for some of you guys, you could be coming out of the honeymoon stage in some sort of new, fresh relationship. Um, you could be getting to know this person and realizing stuff about them. Um, and some of you guys could be realizing this person stuck on their ex or as you guys are getting to know someone new, you realize that you're still emotionally stuck on an ex. Okay. And for some of you, you want to get to know someone new, but also through you getting to know someone new, you realize that you haven't completely detached from an ex. Now, when it comes to the other card we have, we have have faith in your dreams with this card. This is. Again, another card letting you guys know that you need to have more optimism or more faith in the divine in terms of your dreams and the manifesting, but not just having faith in your dreams, but also doing things to make it a reality like the faith. That, OK, you having faith in your dreams is one thing, but it's very key because having faith is what's going to give you that um, energy to keep pushing in your career in your dreams. That's what's going to give you that ability to keep pushing. But if you don't have faith, then you're definitely not going to put enough energy or effort into your dreams to make them a reality. And then that's when you confirm your doubts of not being able to be successful. So don't create your own downfall by not believing in yourself or being consistent enough in terms of your dreams. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Scorpios. For watching this i hope that you did enjoy definitely make sure you thumbs this video up and subscribe and check out the description if you would like a personal and i will see you in the next one